The purpose of this video tutorial is a reminder as to how we were searching for ebooks earlier. So by clicking finding ebooks, these are the databases that provide you access to the ebooks. Uh, we're going to click again on ebooks by EBSCO. And here on the left, you'll see some subject areas. So if you do happen to see a subject area that pertains to what you're searching for, you can always click on those to get some suggestions for books that you may want to um, search for. But here I'm going to enter again insomnia. Just as an example, uh, whatever your topic might be, that's what you would enter here. But for this video, I'm simply going to use insomnia as an example and click search. And again, uh, here are some of the ebooks that are uh, available to you that pertain to insomnia. So let's say I want to click on Overcoming Insomnia, a Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Approach, The Therapist Guide. Uh, you can click on the, the link. And this will give you again an overview of what this book is about. Um, I'm going to click on, we'll click on PDF full text to view this full text article. Excuse me, this full text ebook. And here's the title, Overcoming Insomnia. Here are the authors. And you'll notice on the left, you have the different chapters. So let's say you just want to go to this specifically chapter four. You simply click that. And you'll see this has taken us straight to chapter four and the information that's included there. So hopefully that's helpful for you if you're wanting to utilize this ebook. Now I'm going to simply go back. And click one more time just so you can see some of the other um, ebook options for insomnia. Um, this one sounds interesting um, acupuncture for insomnia, sleep and dreams, and Chinese medicine. So let's say we, let's say you automatically know you want to look at the PDF full text version for this ebook. You simply click on full text PDF, and here's the title. Here's what this author, excuse me, this book cover looks like. And again, you have your options over here to go directly to a chapter. So let's just say we want to look at other sleep pathologies. And that's taking us directly to this chapter. And you can peruse that. Gives you symptoms and other information. And again, you can s quickly scroll through here if you want to look at dreams of flying. And that's going to take you directly to this section of the book. And as we described earlier, you have options. You can save pages. You can email them to yourselves. You can print. Um, your citation information is right here. A lot of the helpful information is located here at the top if you do want to save some of this information. Now I'm going to click uh, the back here. Actually, I'm sorry. We're going to just go back to, I simply clicked on the tab and went back to our databases here. And now I'm going to just so you can see what the homegrown ebooks looks like. And again, these are North Carolina homegrown um, books. So some of these may or may not uh, be beneficial for you, but I definitely encourage you to, to peruse these and see if any of these might be of interest to you. Um, again, we'll just take a chance and see if um, what might come up if we do type in anxiety. So here are some um, publications that may or may not be of interest to you, but let's say this one, uh, Running is My Therapy. Uh, running is My Therapy, Relieve Stress and Anxiety, Fight Depression, uh, Ditch Bad Habits, and Live Happier. Um, that sounds intriguing, so let's say you want to read this ebook. And there again is the title, page, uh, excuse me, the cover page, and the introduction, but the publication information is all listed there. And here are the chapters. And so you may see that some of this sounds interesting. Chapter five, running and antidepressants. Chapter six, running and talk therapy. So you'll see that some of these do pertain to anxiety. So this might be an ebook that you would want to use for your projects. So I hope this tutorial has been beneficial for you again for accessing the ebooks, but I'll quickly do a very quick recap for you. Um, again, all of this information is located via the North Carolina Wesleyan College Pearsall Library homepage. And again, some of the ways that you can get to the homepage um, are if you're on the North Carolina Wesleyan homepage in cwc.edu, you can click on library here at the top. 
you can click on Academics and scroll down to Library. Or if you're logged into your Mind.ncwc portal, you'll notice a link somewhere over here on the left that will say Library. Any of those that you click will take you to the Pearsall Library homepage. And this is where you have, again, our contact information. You can call or email us. If you have any questions, we're happy to assist you. Um, you can search for your ebooks and your articles, uh, again, electronically, anywhere that you have internet access. So again, you have a couple of options. We can click adult studies resources here. And again, these are the satellite campuses. You can click Newburn. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this will be a great page for you to maybe bookmark on your computer or your device and just always quickly come back to this. Again, if you want to look for articles, meaning academic articles, scholarly articles, peer-reviewed articles on topics that pertain to your paper, this is what you would search for are the databases. And within these databases are going to be those articles themselves. And again, if we want to go ahead and just jump to clicking on subjects, scrolling down to psychology. And again, these are different databases that will contain articles that might be of benefit to you specifically for Professor Thompson's psychology class. And these are usually what we call our best bets, meaning psych articles, psychology database, and psych info. These specifically focus on psychology related articles. So you can, as we said in the earlier video, these would be great resources for you. I simply clicked on the back tab here to go back to the Newburn homepage. And then we clicked on finding ebooks as we just did. And again, these are some easy databases that you can search to locate and download ebooks if you need the actual books as well as articles for your projects. So those are right there. And again, I'm just going to quickly click on the library tab to get back to the Pearsall Library homepage. If for any reason you have a sort of uh, maybe you've gotten a little lost or you don't want to go through some of those steps, there is a little bit of a quicker way you can click on uh, databases and articles right here. I just always like to show you our students in Newburn the Newburn tab and that Newburn site just because it's sort of a one stop shop. But if you don't want to go that route again via the homepage here, if you do click on databases and articles, um, this will look very similar to the tab we clicked off via the Newburn page and you can click on subjects and go down to psychology and this will be the same process. There are those psych articles, psych info right here in psychology database if you want to look at these articles. So again, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to give us a call at this number. You can always email us here and we will assist you as much as possible. Thank you so much for your time and have a good day.